yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so difficult, guys. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called Benchmark Protocol. Guys, Benchmark Protocol is a supply elastic collateral and hedging device driven by the volatility index acquired from Chainlink oracles. The protocol operates as a rules-based utility that dynamically adjusts supply based on the CBOE volatility index. The abbreviation for that guys is the BXX and deviations from the target metric equal to one special drawing rights. SDR units approximately $1.42. SDRs are the International Monetary Fund's global currency. The supplementary foreign exchange reserve assets define them and maintained by the IMF. SDRs are units of the account for the IMF and not a currency per se. They represent a claim to currency held by IMF member countries for which they may be exchanged. By employing the SDR guys, Benchmark is creating a larger use case for the SDR rather than exposure to just one currency such as the USD or the Yen. Applying the Benchmark protocol to the VXX and SDR creates an enormous user base while dilienting exposure to markets around the world. Benchmark protocol connects traditional financial markets to decentralized markets via the Mark token. The supply elastic and non-dilutive Mark token is an ERC-20 utility token and the native asset on the Benchmark network, all of which is built on the Ethereum blockchain. Being elastic means that supply can expand or contract to meet demand, dramatically reducing price volatility. If you compare this to something like the price volatility of Bitcoin, you can see why an inelastic supply can create issues when pricing goods, services, or contracts in non-stable currencies. The Mark token also expands and contracts in a non-dilutive way. Everyone is impacted fairly, and inflation or deflation is shared across all members. Comparing this to a fiat currency, when additional notes are printed, each person's notes are diluted, meaning they decrease in value. With Mark, you will never be diluted. The Mark token is an alternative medium of exchange thanks to its unique combination of traits. So, how does Benchmark Protocol implement supply elasticity in a non-dilutive manner? The supply of tokens is increased or decreased algorithmically. Let's say we aim to achieve a value of $1.40 per token, or the SDR rate. If the price is above the SDR rate, what we call a rebase increases the total supply of tokens, reducing the price of each token. But if the price is below the SDR rate, the rebase will decrease the supply, increasing the price of each token. What's an SDR rate? This is the Special Drawing Rights, which is an international reserve asset linked to five currencies. The SDR is a stable peg that moves with the entire global economy. Rather than being vulnerable to the risks of tracking a single currency, such as all stable coins pegged to the US dollar alone. What does this mean for a Mark token holder? The rebase itself has no impact on total value, only on the relationship of price and supply. This process is completed entirely on chain by the automated market maker, or in this case, Uniswap. The instant the daily rebase is complete, the token price will then be subject to supply and demand forces of the market until the next rebase. The rebase algorithm also incorporates the volatility index, also known as the market's fear indicator. If the VIX increases and more volatility is expected, the mark token supply will also be increased. Thanks to the predictable price of the mark token, broader use in decentralized markets is far more appealing than traditional stable coins or volatile cryptocurrencies. Allowing asset managers and hedge funds with significant exposure to the larger crypto market to diversify investors' portfolios. Benchmark Protocol is the stable coin alternative that connects traditional capital markets to DeFi. Guys, Benchmark Protocol is taking this approach to the DeFi space because it's becoming clear that DeFi needs a collateral utility that retains its efficiency and increases inherent baseline liquidity during periods of high volatility. For the more technically macroeconomically minded, 
Benchmark can be described as an elastic stablecoin alternative similar to Ampleforth bridging capital markets to DeFi. The protocol is an uncorrelated liquid VXX denominated collateral utility that is a rules-based supply elastic collateral utility. This enables it to adjust supply based on volatility indexes and deviations from the target metric equal to one special drawing rights unit. Benchmark is built on the Ethereum blockchain guys and the native token, the Mark token. This empowers the Benchmark network and will be used as collateral for the upcoming Benchmark protocol P2P marketplace. They explain here guys that it's an uncorrelated asset. Collateral needs liquidity. The Benchmark token is a supply elastic collaterally utility designed to inject liquidity during periods of high volatility in correlation with global equities markets. The liquidity needs collateral. When the Mark token reaches the yield phase, the network is capitalized and utilized to assume quasi steady state conditions. The implied value of the Mark token is its yield bearing value arising from the collateral utility. Non dilutive, your network share. Holders of the Mark tokens always maintain their equity stake or share the, of the network in the benchmark protocol no matter what conditions strike the markets. The enterprise benchmark protocol network exposure is always non dilutive. As for the network security, they've been Certec audited. The benchmark protocol smart contract has been audited by Certec and its full transparency is here, guys. You can see their full audit. Here is their full audit on GitHub, guys. It's about 13 pages long, starting off with the executive summary, moving into the testing summary, the review notes, their findings. They are secured. They've incentivized researchers with bug bounties to audit their software. They're tested. Their software is routinely tested with the help of developer communities. Some of their partners and collaborators, iNovo, Certec, Digifox Finance, BZX, Fulcrum. Sliding over to their Medium page here, guys, they have an update that I want to go over with you. It was announced on June 25th, unpacking the benchmark protocol P2P marketplace. They explained that the ability to use a blockchain rather than a centralized intermediary to facilitate a P2P loan saves users time and money. Although a centralized approach to data collection and storage as it pertains to lending still dominates the world of finance today, they believe it won't last long. The upcoming benchmark protocols P2P marketplace, guys, will introduce a user-friendly, robust, and wide-reaching multi-chain solution for decentralized finance. Finance. Contracts in the marketplace can be powered by the Mark token because Mark is designed to serve as a stable form of collateral. Additionally, guys, separate and all new governance functions will be implemented so that it will create a financial ecosystem equipped to stand the test of time. Looking at it at a glance, guys, users can select which asset they'd like to borrow. They can also select which assets they'd like to lend. They can also select a preferred form of collateral. They can also pay off terms like a fixed interest rate. They can also set their own time frame for the loan duration. We have some some screenshots here guys like the marketplace user flow more screenshots here like the originating loan and more down here they also explain the difference between whitelisted and non whitelisted a whitelisted section for projects supported by benchmark protocol their rates terms will be aligned to a general framework an open section where anyone can offer loans with their desired terms next announcement guys this was announced June 24th on their Twitter page make mark with beta coming soon check out their Twitter page for more important announcements guys that should be kept on your radar in conclusion guys benchmark protocol will not be a hidden gem for much longer there may be only a few weeks left to accumulate before it blows up multiple hints at a governance token have been dropped by the team as you know guys ample forth released the fourth token that was distributed to ample holders the upcoming benchmark protocol p2p marketplace that i just showed you guys on their medium page will be the world's first multi-chain fully permissionless lending platform leveraging a rebasing token with an elastic supply it's a first use case of its kind the ample forth with no use case is sitting at 162 million market cap while benchmark sits at an 8.9 million market cap with the world's first upcoming elastic supply use case shout out to all my students i love you Group shout hug. out to the crypto class gang shout out to the lambo gang shout out to the whale gang shout out to the hotel gang thank you for always your continued support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button for me drop a comment in the comment section below please remember guys we are an impartial channels so whether your opinion is negative or positive we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see in our next video professor crypto out